Hi everyone, Tasty here, and thank you for joining me for another Random Gaming News, where today we're going to be talking about a few quick mentions, why Nintendo is actually copyright striking YouTube channels and alike, also giving you my pick of the game of the week at the end of the video, so make sure you're staying tuned towards the end to catch that. Don't forget to check out the smaller YouTube channel link that I leave down in the description so you guys can check out another smaller channel such as myself and kind of help out them here too. Check out the Discord link that I'm a part of as well while you're down there come and hang out with some cool people remember to also check out some of those special secret links that i have down there too because you don't want to miss out on anything that's going on in them while you're at it why don't you share this video because that does help out the channel the most hit the like button if you did enjoy it subscribe with the bell icon turned on so you can be notified of my next video and let's go ahead and start the show I mentioned this a couple videos back, but Ubisoft will be delaying Gods and Monsters, Watch Dogs Legions, and Rainbow Six Quarantine until next year. And in an earnings call earlier this week, they actually announced that those games are going to be cross-generational, meaning that they're going to be on this generation and next generation of consoles. And on that same call, they actually announced that there are two unannounced titles that they are working on to bring out to that will also be cross-generational and launching next year. It's be very interesting to see what they have coming out because that we still have Beyond Good and Evil 2 to come and we haven't heard really a whole lot on that, at least I haven't, and I've been trying to look out for that game because it looks pretty sweet. Uh, next here in Nintendo news, they're actually you know stating that they want to bring more 3DS games over to the Switch. A tweet from, I'm going to butcher these names so I just really hope you guys appreciate how hard I tried on learning how to pronounce these, but here we go. Takashi Makasuki stated that Nintendo chief Fakuru Fukuru ugh, Fukuru <laughs> said the company would like to make more 3DS franchises available to the Switch to convey the appeal of the light. So this means that we might actually have hope for getting that Luigi's Mansion that came out on the 3DS over on the Switch, um, and, and hopefully things like Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, those kind of things would be awesome to have on the Switch and on the go. We have them on almost every other console that Nintendo has made, so it'd be cool to see them on the Switch. In other Nintendo news, there actually is going to be a Pokemon competition that is going to come out shortly after the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield. The competition is going to be called the Galare Beginnings Competition. Um, you can use Dynamaxing and Giant, Giant Maxing in the game, uh, but you only get those for three turns, and they state that you probably want to use those wisely. Also, you're only going to be allowed three of your six Pokemon to take into battle with you, but they will start off at level 50 just to give everybody a fair playing field. I'll be throwing my hat in the ring on December 5th. I just have to decide what Pokemon I'm going to take with me here. Anyway, lastly, in these quick mentions, I just wanted to mention that uh, Hiro Kojima actually stated in a documentary for the BBC that he actually wants to branch out and start doing movies. It's not too surprising for me for that particular developer to actually go out and do movies because if anybody has played their his games yeah the gameplay itself like the actual mechanics and all that stuff is kind of lackluster but what really keeps me going is you know seeing what I just played through in the cutscene and how that all figure fits into the actual overall story that he's trying to tell and those stories are actually where uh, Kojima shines so I would definitely see a, a Kojima Productions movie in a heartbeat Lastly here for the news stories, I just want to touch on something that I talked about actually in my last video a little bit. Cards right there if you'd like to go see that. Okay, so a bunch of leaks have actually come out for the roster for the new Pokemon game. And it happened, you know, that some people didn't actually like what was going in, what was being taken out. Um, but that's not really what this is about. What this is about is Nintendo is copyright striking YouTube channels, taking down Twitter posts, or anywhere else where a post may have been made for the leaked photos of that Pokemon roster. So that completely within the right I am full for Nintendo and Game Freak doing this kind of thing because it is nobody else's right but the developer and the publisher to actually put these photos out and if you got lucky enough and actually got a copy of the game early for you to do something like that and to put it out and to kind of you know in my opinion corrupt people's views on what Pokemon Sword and Shield is I, I know it's an overly hyped game as it is it's a children's RPG about catching pocket monsters of course it's overly hyped but it is something that is very fond to me in the memories that I've had as a child. And I would like to just form a, an opinion about the game because I honestly did not really like Sun and Moon. 
Like, but I still got the game because I wanted to see what it was about versus actually going out and listening to some of these other people or the leaks that are happening or rumors that are going on around it. I will watch actual reviews, I will watch actual first impressions, but I don't really like listening to rumors and leaks until the actual company that put out the product you know, tells me what's going on with it. And that's where I do find this part of the story a little bit funny because Nintendo actually has maybe found the guy that put out all these leaks to begin with. And the way that they found it is, let me tell you, that's some classic detective work right here. So a Nintendo, some Nintendo employees actually found the Discord chat where all this was being posted. Not only that, they took that image from the Discord chat and used that on YouTube to find his channel, found the channel, found his Facebook, went to this Facebook, found his identity, and now knows who that guy is. And that just goes to show you that if you're doing something that you know is wrong, maybe you just shouldn't do it because now you have Nintendo kind of breathing down your back. But at the very least, if you're going to do this, don't do it from your own accounts. So like that's not something that you should be doing. You should probably hide your identity before t poking such a big bear as Nintendo. All right, now let's talk about Tasty's Pick of the Week, where I break down a game that I've actually been enjoying playing and give you my personal thoughts on the matter. Uh, and this week, I've actually been playing Luigi's Mansion 3, and I know it's a little bit out of the spooky season for it, but let me tell you, I have been loving this game so far. Actually, I picked it up a you know right before getting to work one morning, just stopped in at Walmart, picked it up 50 bucks, go and get it there if you don't want to spend $60 on it. Anyway, uh, which I've only been playing this game for the rest of the week, and that's kind of bad because I've got some Destiny 2 stuff building up for me there. And this, let me tell you, this game actually looks like one of the best looking first party Nintendo games to come out for the Switch. And the story is just on point for a Nintendo game, and it does have you know some things here where the controls are a little weird um, when it comes to doing certain things. And what I mean by that is that you actually get a dark light that you can have to like solve different puzzles and things like that to make things reveal, um, but you have to move it with the right stick and then you have the X button to hit it. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to maneuver your thumb back and forth while trying to move it around and hold it down and that kind of stuff. And yeah, you do have motion controls to go look up and down. I haven't found any to move it side from side either in handheld mode or um, when it's docked, but it, it, it's just a little strange. And the way that I've solved that problem is, is I've used my index finger to go over and hit the X button and use my right thumb to you know, move it around like I normally would. Which, you know, I, this does seem kind of nitpicky, and I know I've been enjoying the game, but it is something that has been hindering my playing of the game a little bit, because, you know, there are certain ghosts that you have to face with that, and it's a little hard to, like, whoop Luigi around to go and look in a certain direction when you only get to move up and down when you're holding a certain button down. So, that's something I wish I would fix. But besides that, you know, I've been enjoying this game and I could not recommend this game enough to anybody that is a fan of the Luigi Mansion series, let alone anybody that has played a 3D Mario game because this is just 3D Mario at its highest level there. And uh, you know, I can't really say much more on it from that, but if you do have a Nintendo Switch, do like 3D Mario games, Go to Walmart and pick this up if you have a local Walmart and find some place, maybe Amazon, that can sell it for 50 bucks to you, because if you can get it 10 bucks cheaper, why not? But if you don't and you can get it for 60, go ahead and do it, because Luigi's Mansion 3 is definitely top-notch 3D Mario. All right, well, there's our video for today. Make sure you leave your thoughts down in those comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Like, what do you guys think of that Nintendo leak? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Um, and if you you know, do you approve of Nintendo doing the copyright strikes and do you disapprove? I'd love to hear from you down in those comments below as well as what game you have been playing this week and enjoying. I'd love to know that. So why not answer those burning questions in my soul down in those comments below for me. Remember to also check out that smaller YouTube channel so that way we can help out some other small YouTube channels here on YouTube and as well as the Discord server that I'm a part of down in the description below because why not come and hang out with some cool people and see what we're all about. Remember to share this video because that does help out the channel the most as well as hitting the like button if you did enjoy the video is much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to stay notified of when I make my next video. As always, this has been Tasty, this is Random Gaming News, and have a wonderful gaming night.